this upside down tomato is going very well. There we are, it's hanging from a bottle. It's upside down. And it's going quite well. It's summer though. Well there's the tomato. There's the tomato, just about right. All going upside down. And here are the roots. See how they're growing. But I've uh, hidden the roots from the sunlight by surrounding them with, with cardboard and plastic and newspaper and stuff. So the roots don't get actually all sunburnt. And the whole thing's growing upside down. I've learnt a lot from all this. I now know that I can grow these all winter. It's much harder to grow in the summertime, but I now know that I can grow them all winter in the shed. And with the, uh, the shed has skylights, so I can actually have tomatoes all winter long. I can see that now, and it will be very easy to do, and the temperature will be cooler. Oh, there's a ladybug. Whoops, keeps moving. Yes, upside down garden, it was quite a success, but it is the hottest time of year, so you can't expect the tomatoes to be too happy. But it will, I can see that it will work very well in winter time. And it's a great idea for an indoor garden in a garage with skylights, which is what we have here. It grew to quite a good size too. There were some other tomatoes on it the other day, but they got burnt. I, I had the thing left out in uh, the sun where it was getting sunburned. But I've moved it in and I know it's going to be happy in the shade now. It's doing very well now. Well, this upside down tomato growing experiment can be deemed a success. But I would have got more tomatoes so far had I not left it out in this hot sun one day. One day there were, it, was, it was really hot and um, several of the small green tomatoes got burnt. So at the moment there's only one big red one. So it can be deemed a success. There's the new green one. And there's the red one that's going to be eaten today, finally. What a pity I didn't make more of these hanging baskets. The method works so well, at least I know now that I can have tomatoes all winter long if I hang them up in the garage under the skylights. And the roots were masked with cardboard, weren't they? Hello little fly. Yes, the roots were masked with cardboard to protect them from the sunlight. Good idea.